हेलो एंड वेलकम यू ऑल डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन स्पेसिफिकेशन दिस इज द टॉपिक फ्रॉम द सब्जेक्ट कंट्रोल सिस्टम एंड यूनिट नंबर फोर इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल सॉल्व सर्टन न्यूमरिकल्स रिलेटेड टू द स्पेसिफिकेशन इन फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन आई हैव रिटर्न थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट स्पेसिफिकेशन फर्स्ट इज रेजोन एंड पीक we know that the transfer function of a system is given by g of s upon 1 plus g of s into h of s in earlier videos we have already discussed g of s is the uh, transfer function of the forward block h of s is the feedback block and so on if you want to obtain the values i mean transfer function in frequency domain then simple trick is replace s by j omega whatever answer you will be getting that will be in frequency domain so this equation of the transfer function can be written as m of j omega very simple in place of yes i am putting j omega which is equals to g of j omega upon 1 plus g of j omega into h of j omega now what is the meaning of resonant peak do remember like this peak means peak value resonant is maximum or related to resonance condition so as omega is varied omega is the frequency so as frequency is varied change then maximum value of m of j omega means maximum value of this term that is the transfer function is called mr that is it is called resonance peak very simple as you go on changing the frequency omega then you will at some value you will get at some value of the frequency you will get maximum value of transfer function which is called resonant peak second resonant frequency very simple it is denoted by omega the frequency at which peak resonance occurs that means the frequency at which you are getting mr that corresponding frequency is called omega r that is resonant frequency third is the bandwidth it is the range of frequency up to omega c do remember this notation omega c is called as cut off frequency so range of frequencies up to cut off frequency beyond which the magnitude drops by 3 db below zero frequency level this concept we will discuss uh, in detail in the latter units that is in polar plots then in nyquist plots and so on apart from this there are two more specifications that is gm gain margin and one more is there that is pm that is phase margin so this is phase margin and this is gain margin all these terms are related to the bode plot that we will be studying in detail while discussing the bode plots so now without wasting the time uh, let us start solving the numericals related to this part now for solving the numericals we need simple set of formulae we know that this is the standard formula for transfer function in the time domain which is cs upon rs which is equals to omega n square recall the things omega n is natural frequency of oscillation upon s square plus 2 zeta omega n is this notation zeta is called damping factor plus omega n square so this is the standard equation of transfer function in time domain we need this equation for comparison with the given equation then we just have to make use of two important formulae one is mr that is called resonant peak second is omega r that is called resonant frequency so mr is 1 upon 2 zeta under root of 1 minus zeta square zeta is the damping factor omega r resonant frequency is omega n omega n is natural frequency of oscillation or undamped frequency one more name is there square root of 1 minus 2 zeta square now the given numerical is for the system with closed loop transfer function this is the given equation of transfer function determine zeta that is damping factor omega n natural frequency of oscillation then resonant peak that is mr and resonant frequency that is omega r for the given equation first i will write the standard equation so standard equation is this omega n square upon s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square now compare the given equation with this standard equation so immediately we can say numerator term here is omega n square which is equals to 9 therefore omega n is equals to 3 radians per second this is the value of natural frequency of oscillations now 
this is the value of omega next step i need to calculate value of zeta that is the damping factor look at this term it is 2 zeta omega n into s here at the middle multiplying term with s is 3 so i can write 2 zeta omega n is equal to 3 now put the value of omega n so i will write 2 zeta into 3 is equal to 3 this 3 3 gets cancelled therefore 2 zeta is equal to 1 therefore zeta is equal to 1 by 2 that means zeta is equal to 0.5 this is the value of zeta so we have done the calculation of first two parts that is zeta and omega n next is i need to calculate value of resonant peak resonant peak is mr we have the ready made formula 2 zeta 1 upon 2 zeta under root of 1 minus zeta square simply put the value of zeta so it is 1 upon 2 into 0.5 under root of 1 minus 0.5 square if you solve this using the calculator then value of mr will be 1.154 this is the value of resonant peak next we need to calculate resonant frequency again we have a ready made formula omega r is equals to omega n under root of 1 minus 2 zeta square so put the values omega n is 3 under root of 1 minus 2 into 0 0.5 square therefore you will get value of omega r that is the resonant frequency is 2.12 radians per second so dear students these numericals are pretty simple you just have to make use of uh, two important formulae now let us solve different variations in such type of numericals next problem for a unity feedback system with open loop transfer function g of s is 100 upon s into s plus 9 observe the difference the last problem in the last problem directly it was mentioned closed loop transfer function so whatever equation we had last numerical major equation tha wo directly transfer function ka tha to humne directly standard formula ke sath compare kiya but in this case this is open loop transfer function or g of s ka equation diya hai do remember yahan pe ye mention hai unity feedback system iska matlab hai value of h of s is 1 Okay, G of S is given. Determine damping factor, matlab zeta, undamped frequency, matlab same as natural frequency of oscillation, that is omega n. Next, resonant peak, that is MR, and resonant frequency, that is omega r. Ab dekho, pahila part hai, pahila task hai, hume transfer function calculate karna hai, which is G of S upon 1 plus G of S into H of S. Unity feedback hai, matlab H of S 1 hai, put the value of G of S, so you will get 100 upon uh, the g of s is 100 upon s into s plus 9 divided by 1 plus 100 upon s into s plus 9 ab dekho ye numerator term main as it is rakhta hu 100 upon s s plus 9 yahan pe denominator mein iska lcm lete so 1 into this term ho jayega so it is s into s plus 9 plus 100 upon s into s plus 9 now we know the usual procedure yahan pe ye jo term hai s into s plus 9 ye cancel ho jayenge so i will get the transfer function i will write it over here therefore transfer function is equals to ye term 100 as it is divided by ye term aayega s into s plus 9 plus 100 so this term will be 100 upon s square plus 9 s. Dekho, s se under multiply kiya. S into s, s square plus 9 s plus 100. Now think like this. Ye given equation hai apne paas. Matlab transfer function ka given equation hai. Isko standard formula ke saath compare kar lenge. And we will proceed like the last numerical. So, is se related standard formula hai apne paas. Omega n square upon s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square now it is very much similar to the earlier numerical here omega s square matlab 100 therefore i will write it here omega n square is equals to 100 therefore omega n is equals to 10 10 radians per second okay this is value of omega n now zeta calculate karna hai yahan pe hai 2 zeta omega n yahan pe hai 9 s 
टू जीटा ओमेगा इन इंटू यस है यहाँ पे नाइन इंटू यस मतलब I will write it like this: two theta omega n is equals to nine. Therefore, two theta into ten is equals to nine. ये simplify करेंगे तो हमारे पास ये equation आ जाएगा: theta is two into ten. It is it is nine upon twenty. So it is point forty five. So this is the value of theta. That is damping factor. Now next is Uh, we have calculated damping factor and undamped frequency that is omega and resonant peak like the previous sum we have the ready made formula mr is 1 upon 2 theta under root of 1 minus theta square so it is 1 upon 2 into 0.45 square root of 1 minus 0.45 square therefore answer of mr will be 1.244 now i have to calculate omega r we have omega r is equals to omega n under root of i am using this formula under root of 1 minus 2 theta square so 2 theta square so it is omega n value of omega n uh, is 10 square root of 1 minus 2 0.45 square value of theta therefore omega r you will get this answer 7.771 7.71 radians per second this is the value of omega r that is resonant frequency now the last variation in such type of numericals for schematic diagram of unity feedback system calculate omega r and mr omega r is uh, resonant frequency and mr is uh, peak resonance Only difference is that this is the given block diagram. Now avoid common mistakes. Students have said yeah, S S O S T. That these two are different blocks and they are cascaded and connected. So they try to combine it. It's not like this. Here we clearly mentioned that A is equal to ten. Think like this. This is the gain. Ten is the gain. And we know that these two blocks represents equation of G of S. Whereas ये feedback पाते हैं यहाँ पे कोई भी block नहीं है और question में भी ये mention किया है कि unity feedback इसका मतलब है H of S is equal to one. अब पहला task हमें transfer function तैयार करना है. So transfer function is G of S upon one plus G of S into H of S. Let us put the values. देखो अब जीओपीएस कैसे कैलकुलेट करना है जैसे मैंने बताया ये कॉमन मिस्टेक्स अवॉइड करना है ये दो ब्लॉक्स कैस्केड में दिखाए हैं लेकिन ये टेन है ये गेन है गेन गिवन वैल्यू ऑफ गेन इज टेन विच इज मेंशन एज एज इक्वल टू टेन तो ये ऐसा लिखना है टेन इंटू टेन मतलब दिस इंटू दिस तो ऐसा आएगा एस अपॉन एस प्लस एट ये इक्वेशन है जीओपीएस का मतलब टेक मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस टू ब्लॉक्स सो टेन इंटू टेन अपॉन एस इंटू एस प्लस ए ये इक्वेशन है जीओ एस का अपॉन वन प्लस सेम इक्वेशन टेन इंटू टेन अपॉन एस इंटू एस प्लस एट एच ऑफ एस का वैल्यू वन है तो सिंप्लीफाई करेंगे आगे इट इज हंड्रेड अपॉन एस इंटू एस प्लस एट डिवाइडेड बाय वन प्लस हंड्रेड अपॉन एस इंटू एस प्लस एट अब ये न्यूमरेटर टर्म में एज इट इज रखता हूं सो इट इज हंड्रेड अपॉन एस इंटू एस प्लस एट डिवाइडेड बाय यहां पे एलसीएम लेते हैं सो इट इज वन इंटू एस इंटू एस प्लस एट दैट इज एस इंटू एस प्लस एट प्लस हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाय एस इंटू एस प्लस एट तो लाइक द प्रीवियस सम ये टर्म्स कैंसिल हो गए सो आई विल गेट हंड्रेड अपॉन एस इंटू एस प्लस एट प्लस हंड्रेड विच इज हंड्रेड अपॉन एस स्क्वेर प्लस एट एस प्लस हंड्रेड दिस इज द ट्रांसफर फंक्शन विच वो ऑप्टेन आफ्टर सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस इक्वेशन नाउ लाइक द प्रीवियस सम ये जो स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्मूला है ट्रांसफर फंक्शन का इसके साथ इक्वेट करना है सो आई कैन इजीली राइट ओमेगा एन स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड देर फोर ओमेगा एन इज इक्वल टू टेन ये एक आंसर आ गया ओमेगा एन का दूसरा जीटा कैलकुलेट करना है यहाँ पे ए टी एस है यहाँ पे देखो टू जीटा ओमेगा एन है देर फोर आई विल राइट टू जीटा ओमेगा एन 
is equals to 8. Therefore, 2 cheta into 10 is equals to 8. Therefore, cheta is equals to 8 by 20, which gives me value of cheta is equals to 0.4. So, we have got the values of omega n and zeta. Ab next part, it is similar to the earlier sums. Ek bar apne paas zeta or omega ke values aave, to humare paas directly formula hai. So, we have the formula of MR. Ye formula, is me values put karonga mein directly. So, 1 upon 2 into zeta ka value of 0 0.4. 0 0.4 under root of 1 minus 0.4 square. So, you will get value of MR that is 1.36. This is the value of MR. Same way, omega R ka ye formula hai. Isme values put karenge. So, omega R is equals to omega N. Omega N matlab 10 hai. 10 under root of 1 minus 2 into 0.4 square. Dekho yahan pe 2 zeta square. Therefore, I will get omega R which is equals to 8.24 radians per second. So these are the answers related to given numerical, I mean related to the values omega r and mr. So dear students, these are pretty simple numericals. You just have to remember these three formulae. You will be in a position to solve any type of numerical. So that's it for today's session. So thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.